Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a tutorial. This is a complete beginner tutorial. When you just open Blender, you just downloaded it and need to hop on and make something. So let's get started. So this is the screen you will see when you open Blender. I have the 3.01 version. Do You will see the version that you have here. And here you can see your recent files and the recent files. And some release notes, development funds and etc. And here, if you want to get started, you can create a new file, General 2D Animation Sculpting VFX or Video video Editing. So let's stick with the General. Here you have your cube when you first start off. To move, you can use your middle mouse button. So hold down your middle mouse button and then move around your mouse. So you see, now you're moving around in Blender. And here are the axes that you can go to, Y, Z, X, and so on. You can also go them uh, by your numpad, so one, the one, seven, and so on, just like that. If you want to, then go into axis and then hold, hold Alt, and then you can move your mouse button, hold and move your mouse button just like that. And you can see you can go up, you can go side to side, just like so. If you hold Alt and uh, keep a hold on your middle mouse button. Just like that. And then, now once you've got that, to move around like this and not like this, this uh, if you want to rotate, then hold your middle mouse button. But if you want to move around from this side to that side, then hold the shift key and the middle mouse button. So here you go. Now you're moving along the X axis. Here you see. And then you can rotate. Then you can move around, pressing shift and holding on to the middle mouse button. Then rotate, holding the middle mouse button, and then shift to move along. There we go. Here you have the basics on how to move. And now in every workspace, you will see a light. This is a light, and this is a camera. If you go over here uh, to the camera view, you can also press zero on the numpad. Here you can see what the camera sees. And you can move around the camera uh, by pressing G. You can move it around, and then you can see what it sees, just like that. This is mainly for rendering. I will show you how that works in a later video. All right, so now we have our cube. What should we make? So to move around our cube, you can press G. Now you are free to move it around wherever you want. But if you want to move it around the axis, then you can press G, and then Z, X, or Y whichever axis that you want. Then it will move to the axis that you want. So let's move it towards the G. And then you can go into edit mode. You do that by pressing tab on your keyboard. So now we're in edit mode. And as, as you can see, you see these uh, black dots on the screen. These are called uh, vertices. A cube has eight of them. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A cube has eight, and you can move these individually around as well. Press G, select one of them, and press G. Here you see, now you have created something. So now you see these different modes here uh, in the upper left corner. You can go into the line mode or edge select mode, and you can select an individual edge. You can also go to face select mode. Here you can see you select different faces. So you can select the face and then move it around. And then if you want to select multiple faces, then you can shift click, just like that. Now you have selected multiple faces. Instead of selecting one individual face, you can shift click and select individual fa multiple faces, just like so. And now let's uh, try and make something out of this. Let's make a blocky tree. All right, so what you can do is you can learn how to extrude first. So press E, and here you see you have the Z axis. Here you see you will create another cube. So right now what you have done is made a line from the cube and extruded this face right here. You see, you have extruded this face. And if you want, then you can press S. Then you will scale that face to the minimum, uh, as little as you want, or as large as you want. It's up to you. So 
If you press S, then you will scale the face. Let's go back. And if you want to press E and S to combine them, here you see you have scaled the extruded face. So what you can do now is uh, left click and then press G and Z. There we go. You see now you have the face here. G and Z to move it along, G and Y to move it along the Y axis, or just press G to move it however you want. There we go. Now from here, if you want to extrude it inwards, then you can press E and S and then extrude it inwards just like that. You can move your mouse just like I'm doing here. And then you can let uh, you can left click, then you can press E. There we go. Here we have created something, I assume. So this is the that was the basics of extruding. Now let's go to scaling. So if you have a face selected here and you want to scale it, then you can press S. There we go, now it's scaling. And if you want to say that scale multiple faces, then you shift click on a face. So shift click and then press S. There we go. Then if you want to extrude these, then you can press E, as you see. You can also, now if you select these faces right over here, and if you press E, then you will see it, the, only the Z axis will come up. And then if you press Y, then only it will only go to one direction, as you can see. That face is going outwards while this is going inwards, but you might not want that. So what you can do is select those. Then over here, uh, select individual origins. There we go. And then you can press E. And now you can see it has extruded from their own origins. There we go. Now you have extruded them. Now you can scale this part if you want. Then you can go to vertex select mode, and then you can select this one. There we go. All right, so that was the basics. Now, uh, as extruding, you can also do intruding. So if you press I, and you see you have created an intrude, just like that. This one will not uh, be able to scale outwards, as if you press E and X, you can go outwards and inwards. But intruding, you will always go inwards, and then you can Press E to extrude, and G to move if you want, G and Y to move, there we go. Now here you see the cube. Let's uh, play around with some modifiers. So here's a bubble modifier over here. To use this one, you can select the, uh, a face. In order to use it, you can select the amount of segments that you want over here in the top left corner. Then you can pull this uh, yellow circle to, you can pull it up. Just like that. And you can select how big you, you want your bevel to be. Just like that. You can also do this by selecting this and hit Control B. And now you have done the same thing, but with uh, the keyboard. Now if you want, you can also go here. You can bevel this. Then you can press A to select every face. There we go. You have selected every face by pressing A. And then you can bevel this, you see, you see how it looks now, it is beveling every side, just like so. Now you have a beveled cube here. Then you can change the amount of segments, let's change this to 3. And then let's uh, use the bevel again, there we go. Now let's say you wanted to make a roof. So a roof has a triangle, a roof with a triangle top. How are you going to do that? I mean you have a cube. Let me show you how. So you can take a loop cut here. Then you see you see this yellow line. You just left click, and there we go. There we have a loop cut. Now it has created the extra geometry on your cube. You can move it around freely. So what you can do to get the triangle shape on the roof, you can press G and Z, and then you can move the edge up. There we go. There we have a little a little home. Then you can go to face select mode. Then select this and then press E if you want to make a roof or anything like that. Apply another another loop cut. You can apply it uh, by this, uh, selecting it on the left menu or by pressing Control R. There we go. And then you can scroll with your mouse, the middle mouse button to the, how many loop cuts you want. There we go. You can have as many as you want. And once you have done that, you can left click. And here we have the loop cuts. You can go to 
not to face select mode but the edge select mode now what you can do is uh, pre hold the edge if you want to hold uh, both edges, edges then you can press uh, shift and then you can select the other edge now if you go over to proportional editing here you have it on the upper right or the middle you can also enable this by pressing O so if you press O and now you see the blue blue mark here then you can press G and you will see the circle now you see it is moving uh, it is uh, creating curves as you see uh, you can make the curve bigger or smaller by using this circle as you see on screen so now it is affecting as little as possible if you make the circle bigger then it will affect more and that is proportional editing you can create make use this to create curved shapes however you want now let's uh, go back hmm. now if you want to go over to this menu here this is where we usually color our models apply modifiers particles and uh, select our render engine etc so what you can do is go to, go down to this part here material properties and click on new then you see the base color is white but you can see it it is because you're not in the material preview so go to Z press Z and here you see the different previews you are currently in solid if you go over to wireframe you see you see these lines so you, you see the lines through the cube and then you can move the lines this is useful if you have something in if you have a line that you can't see like from this angle I cannot see this line so if I go back to solid preview uh, I cannot move it but if I go to wireframe then I will be able to move that line however, however I want so that that is that uh, if you want then we can go over to material preview here you have the material you see it is a white color now here in the base color you can change the color to whichever color you want here we have a blue color and there we have it and if you want then you can also apply a modifier so go on this tab and then click on add modifiers then you can select a subdivision modifier here you see you have created a little uh, a little uh, something I suppose and what you well, with this modifier you see it creates a geometry you can uh, put more on the level viewport there we go now it will be smoother as you can see if you put more it's smoother smoother and it goes on you see from that to this uh, now let's go over deleting stuff in blender so you can delete the individual cube by pressing X and then hitting delete now to get a cube you can press shift a and here you see add mesh you can select a plane a cube a circle uv sphere cylinder cone torus etc let's select this monkey here this monkey is called suzanne now if you want to delete individual lines in this uh, monkey then you can press x and then press edges since that is an edge do you see it has deleted it if you want then you can press dissolve edges as well you see the edge is gone you can do the same thing with the vertices click on the vertices select x and dissolve vertices vertices there you see the vertices gone then you can do the same with the face and yeah that's pretty much it you can ex you press e to extrude g to move s to scale you can press and if you want to st st yeah you can do it uh, with the face as well so select it uh, using shift and if you're getting tired of uh, the selecting faces using shift then you can press on C and you see this circle here uh, it selects for you so you just press C and then you can make the circle bigger or smaller then you can just left click and then it selects and then you can select the geometry just like so select the circle and then left click and then press X and then faces there we go now it has deleted the faces if you want to go back then you can hit the control G control Z there we go now if you want to select uh, without hitting shift you can also use the box selecting tool you can see it just selecting individual faces just like so uh, pretty easy and uh, it, over here you can change this to uh, select lasso 
So now you can select the faces like this. Uh, if you want, let's go back, select lasso, and then just use it. Just like so. Then you can go over to select circle. There we were there a second ago. There we go. Now we see this is on. Now you can apply, you can go over to press Z and go over to solid mode. There we go. Now you can apply a modifier, a subdivision modifier. Now you can see it has become smooth. But even though it has, you can still see the small lines of geometry. In order to make it smooth from there, you can right click, no, right click on it and then press shade smooth. There we go. Now you do not see those lines anymore. Then if you want, you can go down here and press go to normals and go select auto smooth. There we go. Now in the subdivision, subdivision modifier, you can select the edge and you can move it around as well. You see how it is not that edge, but it is, it is the mesh right now that you're using. There we go. Then if you're done, you can click on the modifier, click on this uh, arrow that's pointing downwards and click on apply. Now you applied the modifier. You see you have more topology here, more geometry here. Yeah, and then you can click on X and delete. Now if you have made something and you want to export it into a game engine, then what you can do is, uh, uh, let, let me show you, let's create a simple, let's create a simple uh, tree, I suppose. So E and S and then E and then E and S and then E to extrude. There we go. Here's the base shape and then I to inset and then E to extrude. Here we have our simple tree. Now if you want, then you can go over and color it. So let's go over to this color mode, press new. Let's press Z and go to material preview. Here you see, if we color this green, then the whole tree is going to be green, but we only want the leaves to be green. What you can do now is select this, uh, select these faces that you want differently colored, and then you can press P and click by selection. There you have now these two are separate parts, you see, and you can move it around by pressing G. Then, you can select the brown color for this one. You first off, you can delete this, then add a new, and then select a bit brownish, just like that. Here you have a brown color. And then in order to join them, if you want to join them, you can select them both and hit Control J. There you have it. Now we have joined them together, as you can see. And you have two different materials. All right. And if you want to export this, then you can go over to File, Export. Or you can go over to File, Export, SFBX. Then you can name it however you want. So, Ni My First Tree. And then you can click on Limit to Selected Objects. And then you can click on Export FBX. There you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this beginner tutorial. I will be making a tutorial on how to render next. So if you want to see that, stay tuned for more. Say subscribe to see it first. And see you later. Bye.